Welcome to Listertainment, the channel with the most deceptive name in all of YouTube. Да, да. Ну, але все ж таки не будемо забувати важка травма, операція на лівому бісипці. Можливо, ми не дуже зручно лівому коли пробувати. Вот он, Хоча вот його он. треба вот. пробувати, вирубив. So today we're going to be looking at fights that ended in the final minute of the final round of the fight. These are some of the most dramatic moments in fights because sometimes the fighters who lose feel like they were still good to continue and they get really angry when the fight is waved off, even if they are still tripping over their own feet and swaying like a skyscraper in an earthquake. If you happen to enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below and be sure to turn on those notifications. It was over. Now we have a truly special case where the guy losing the fight is able to get something big in the end to pull out the amazing win. This is the fight between Abel Ramos and Brian Perella that occurred earlier this year. The fight was scheduled for 10 rounds and in the welterweight division and Perella was outlanding Ramos by more than two and a half times. But then the crazy began. To get some shots off, is Ugas is a great fighter, so... Uh, oh! This fight should have probably just been allowed to continue and given Perella the win since he walked over kind of okay and was up on the scorecards by more than 3 rounds. But I guess the referee saw something in his response that didn't look good to him. Perella, unlike Covington, completely accepted the results and said that these things just happened, comparing it to the Chavez vs. Meldrick Taylor fight. Now we see the great Roy Jones Jr. being taken out in the last second of his 10 round fight against Dennis Lebedev. Jones was coming off two straight losses and was looking to get back on track but it didn't happen in this fight. Many of you will probably criticize the ref and possibly Lebedev for delivering that final punch. But Lebedev did ask for the ref to step in and the ref said that Jones had fake being hurt before and that's why he didn't step in. But that final punch put Jones out for 5 minutes. That's how long it took for him to recover. Lebedev was winning this fight easily on two of the judges scorecards. Curious note is that this was the heaviest weight Jones had ever been in his career and he was fighting at cruiserweight. When he fought John Ruiz at heavyweight, he was 5 pounds lighter. That's insane. This fight between Alistair Overeem and Jairzinho Rosenstrike probably has the most insane finish on this list, simply because of the images of Overeem's face after he lost, which I won't be showing here for obvious YouTube reasons. Overeem was winning this fight pretty easily, showing great skills that he learned over his long career. But he started to get really tired at the end of the fifth round, and he got caught. Make a statement here. Yeah, I mean, even if he won the last two rounds, did he win any of the beginning ones? Feels like Alistair won the first three rounds of the fight. Oh! Jarzinho! Rosenst Rosenstrike was beginning to land a lot more in the fifth round, but Overeem still seemed to be winning this round. But with 10 seconds left, he got a little careless and was caught by a crazy right hand that put him down against the cage. He managed to get up, but the referee saw that he was stumbling along the fence, so he stopped the fight. Of course, people criticized the stoppage, but if Rosenstrike would have jumped on him to land even more punches to really end the fight, they would be pissed off about that too. In the main event at UFC 186, former flyweight champion Demetrius Johnson was defending his title against Kyoji Horiguchi. Many thought that Johnson would be getting an easy win in this fight as they thought Horiguchi was completely unmatched, but he made it to the 5th round. In the final round, Horiguchi almost landed a triangle choke from the bottom, but Johnson escaped where he eventually landed his own armbar that ended the fight with 1 second left. Look how slick this is! Right from here, look, boom, slip, boom, takes it, and Horiguchi knows there's 1 second to go and he's Leading up to this ending, Johnson had clear control on the ground and it almost seemed like he was going to end it with strikes, but Horiguchi managed to survive all those hits and while trying to move to a different position, he got caught in the armbar.
This is the fight between super middleweight champion Carl Frock and Jermaine Taylor. Curiously enough, Frock was actually ranked lower than Taylor, even though he was a champion. But he certainly changed that in this fight. And it's been effective for Frock. Right hand staggers. Taylor. Taylor's in trouble. This fight went all the way to the last round. I mean, obviously, that's what the list is all about. But Frock actually hurt Taylor badly with 1 minute 50 seconds left in that fight. And Taylor survived for an entire minute before he was finally put down on the canvas. He then still managed to get up, but Frog was on him like flies on rice and just kept punching and punching until the ref had to stop the fight, with 14 seconds left in the fight. Taylor was actually winning this fight by 4 rounds on 2 of the judges scorecards. In 1978, Sugar Ray Leonard faced off against Floyd Mayweather Sr. and this was early in both of their careers with both of them having less than 17 fights. Mayweather actually came into this fight with only two weeks of training, since it was on short notice. Mayweather said that he thought he could beat him, especially after Leonard failed to look at him during the stare down until the final moment, when he winked at him trying to hide his nervousness. That's according to Mayweather, because in the 10th and final round, that nervousness was nowhere to be seen. We've got a minute 10 left in the fight, and Ray would like to finish him off. He almost went down then from a left. Leonard put down Mayweather twice in the 8th round, but Mayweather stated that he had broken his right hand in his previous fight that was only 2 weeks before this one, thus he couldn't block the left hooks that put him down. The fight was stopped by the referee with only 44 seconds left in the 10th and final round. This fight was fairly exciting, it would have been even better if Mayweather could have used his right hand a lot more. Back in 2018, Paul Craig was able to defeat Magomed Ankaliyev at UFC Fight Night 127 in what is considered one of the greatest come from behind wins in recent history. Ankaliyev was dominating this fight throughout the entire thing, but he made a giant mistake with 10 seconds left. Which means you're going to take some shots. Last 10 seconds in this round and contest. Oh, look at this! Beautiful work by Paul Craig! Big triangle set up. Oh, Magomed had this guy on the bottom landing heavy shots, but Craig managed to pull off a perfect swift move to the triangle choke and ended the fight in like 6 seconds from when he first moved his leg into position. It was almost like a robot, he moved his leg, engaged it and locked him in position and won incredibly fast. In the first meeting between Shane Mosley and Ricardo Mayorga, Mayorga was able to get in Mosley's head for the first three rounds with his crazy showboating antics and, and crazy trash talking. But the great Mosley eventually found his range and kept his cool from then on, starting to beat Mayorga down into the final seconds of the 12th round. There's something dramatic to happen here, just as he did against Oscar De La Hoya eight years ago. Scintillating, fighting down the stretch of the fight by Shane Mosley. Mosley put down Mayorga with only 17 seconds left, but tough ass Mayorga got up and the final punch was like out of a movie. It took a while, but Shane Mosley came up with some of that old slow down back. Mayorga looked at the referee like saying, come on, there's only two seconds left, you gonna let this guy come at me again? And Mosley just came in and landed a devastating left hook that ended the fight with only one second left. The rematch ended even faster since Mayorga infuriated Mosley by slapping Mosley's girlfriend's ass before the fight. He ended it in six. Oh, whoa, whoa. Fight of a 12 rounder. You got two 40 somethings in here who both appear weary and maybe. Oh. This is another crazy fight that ended with only one second left. This time in the third round in the fight between Leon Edwards and Peter Sabata, back in 2018. This fight was a back and forth battle with Edwards being on the top position for long periods of time, 
and Sobota trying to land the submission from the bottom, but Edwards closed it down in the end. Would you like to step Deadpool? up this pace if he wants to get the finish? Stop! Oh, I think the fight was cold. Sobota gave up his back and Edwards started working away, landing some heavy punches for a long time. And then Sobota was trying to cover up, but was not good enough as the referee stepped in to stop the fight a second before the horn went off. I guess Sobota did basically go down at the end there, almost as if he got caught with a good punch, and that's when the referee stepped in to stop it. Let me know in the comments if you think that the referee should let the fight go on if the fighter is able to get up with 5 seconds left, even if he doesn't look okay. But I'm not sure because this is when the serious injuries happen. But some of these fights could have changed dramatically if they were allowed to continue. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.